my expectation and hope is that Christ will be shown to be great in my body, whether by life or by death. And so there are two parts, life and death. Let's just take one at a time. How in Paul's mind and in Paul's life is Christ honored, magnified, shown to be great in his life? The answer is given in chapter 3, verse 7. Whatever gain I had, I counted as loss for the sake of Christ. Indeed, I count everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish in order that I might gain Christ. How does Paul make Christ look great? Answer, by experiencing Christ as such a treasure that everything else in his life is as nothing by comparison. I count everything, money, as loss, food as loss, looks as loss, friends as loss, family as loss, job and success as loss, graduation as loss, in comparison with the treasure that Christ has become for me. How do you make Christ look great in your life and thus not waste it? Money is given to you so that you might use money in a way that shows money is not your treasure. Christ is. Food is given to you so that you might eat it in such a way that it will be plain food is not your treasure. Christ is. Friends, family are given to you so that you might live with them in such a way that it will be plain to the world they are not your treasure. Christ is. Computers, toys, houses, lands, cars are given to you so that you might use them in such a way that it will be plain to the world. These are not your treasure. Christ is. You talk about lifestyle implications. Wartime living. The way we display the supreme worth of Jesus is by treasuring Him above all things and then making choices which make the joy we have in His supreme worth manifest. Get it. Get it. And if He is not that for you tonight, if He's not that treasure for you, pray all night if you have to that your heart would be so changed that you would now treasure Jesus above everything in your life. 